No. What? Yes. On uh, tonight's episode, drugs. How much skin does a shark even need? If you're hit by a car, how are you partially run over? We'll tell you later. How not to mark your bag of drugs? It's 1 a.m. Is there a naked man at your train station? What's the are you people? All this and more on your weekly concern. And I'm tripping balls! And to start things off, in Washington, human composting is now legal. That's right, this man has made a device where the human body will decompose over a matter of weeks. And I'm willing to bet that there might be a legal loophole where you could, oh, I don't know, leave a body in the ditch. Boom, human composting. Your honor. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, this just in. These guys still suck! Explosions. A man in California tried to make hash oil and didn't. Thus, explosions. He ruined the residential building for 24 people, so good job, asshole. State troopers in Florida pulled over a car doing 95 on the interstate. And while searching the vehicle, they found a package marked bag full of drugs. Now, let's just take everything we know so far about this story and apply it towards logic. Now, Taylor, did the bag have drugs? I think it was kittens. Kittens on drugs? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Half credit. For those of you playing along at home, of course it did. I mean, have you ever been to Florida? Man had to go to the hospital due to organ failure because he injected magic mushrooms. He was dealing with a heroin addiction and read online that mushrooms can help with that. And, uh, I guess because he's done so much heroin, he forgot how mouths work. So, don't do that. Weirdo scientists gave octopi MDMA, probably because they were stoned. Now, there was actually some science gleaned from this, whereas, uh, the normally shy and reclusive octopi actually seemed to warm up to humans and each other. It was like an eight-armed hug, said one man desperately in need of attention. And, uh, you know, a drug test. High in the Himalayas, there's a honey that can make you hallucinate. It's very rare and hard to get because of two reasons. A, well, you have to hike the Himalayas. And B, bees. Uh, more specifically, giant bees with big stingers that can puncture through any clothes you wear. Uh, but if you do get your hands on it, it is quite a time. But be careful. If you take too much, you might see more bees. To the of the Joe the Pigeon has been spared the death penalty over COVID fears after he flew from the U.S. to Australia. That's impressive. However, Fluffy the Catfish has been reportedly in quite the state because he's really low on pigeon meat. During these troubling times, it's important to know, are you a blue jay or a crow? Well, now we have Corvid testing sites available in every state. I go every week and turns out I'm a Clark's Nutcracker. But I'm a chicken! Yeah, that's not a Corvid, but I believe it. I'm a chicken, though! Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a chicken. Scientists were shocked when they discovered down in the briny deep a skinless shark. Now listen, I'm no marine biologist, and how dare you accuse me of being one? Really. Grow up. But I do know... I mean, look at this poor guy. That's someone who really wants some skin. In China, I scream, you scream, we all scream, what is going on because it has COVID in it? That's right, for some reason someone decided to test ice cream for COVID and it tested positive. Uh, we don't know how COVID got in there, but uh, in the meantime, uh, why don't you lay off the ice cream, fatso? So can I get COVID from ham? Uh, how about beans? I don't... I don't want my ham and beans. Maybe. But I don't want no COVID. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Oh boy, ham. Clapton was up to his lame old tricks again this week. This time running afoul of Tim Bogart of Vanilla Fudge and Cactus. 
Never satisfied, he then took out his anger on Sylvain Sylvain of the beloved New York Dolls. Come on, Clapton. The fuck is wrong with you? Unbelievable. He did, however, make it up by, uh, you know, getting rid of Phil Spector, but I'm guessing that was probably just an accident on his part. The man has died after he was partially run over. He was not partially dead. He was just partially run over. I don't know how, or maybe it was just a toe, or the car started to run over, and then was like, ah, I'm running over, and then stopped, and then reversed, and then dead. Uh, we're looking into it. Uh, we'll tell you more later. Maybe. Probably not. Partially not. A Russian circus is under fire for having a monkey dressed up like a Nazi, as well as goats draped in swastikas. Now, frankly, uh, you know, I can kind of go with that because as far as I'm concerned, all Nazis are monkeys. And as far as goats goes, I think Brian Fellows sums it up pretty good. Did you see that weird goat? <laughs> yeah. He had devil eyes. <laughs> I hope he's gone. A new game has been released this year. It's called Really Karen. Now I've done zero research on this, but I'm pretty sure it's a cross between Don't Wake Daddy and Hungry Hungry Hippos, and nothing like Sorry. An odd story out of South Slope, Brooklyn, where many restaurants and bars have been closed either temporarily or permanently since uh, COVID and the cold weather have ravaged the area. Now the odd thing is that Grubhub and Seamless suddenly have menus for all of these businesses. And, uh, I don't know, take Lucky 13 Saloon, for example. They are offering something called a double bacon cheeseburger. And then there's Big Al's Wings, which is odd because, I don't know, the owner's a vegan. And, uh, she's a lady. And she's tiny. Also, Smith's Tavern, which hasn't had a kitchen in 40 years, suddenly has a full array of all kinds of tasty treats. Now, what I want to know is there's someone like in their kitchen in Brooklyn, like making food and delivering it? Who are you? Oh, on Reddit, some seven year old sparked a frenzy when he asked a philosophical question Could a speeding Cheeto in space destroy an international space station? And most grown adults have said, No, you're wrong, you stupid seven year old. And then media has covered it, and now here we are covering the stupidity. Back to you. I said back to you. But what it was like, one of those big honking Cheetos, and it's going right at it. <sighs> Fast. I give up. I mean, I almost choked on a Cheeto one time. I know they're deadly. I'm sure you did. While orbiting Jupiter, the Juno spacecraft has discovered an FM radio signal coming from one of the moons. Now, we're not quite sure what the actual format of the radio is, the country or rock or classic rock, but we do know this. Their morning zoo program, especially that rockin' Steve, can really stand to dial it back a smidge. A naked man was found dancing around on a New York subway platform before he fell on the third rail, thus deeming him the king of the electric slide. Ooh, it's a it's electric. Stop that. A man died. Oh, I know. And heading over to Japan, where we're going to wrap things up this evening, someone is probably wearing your face. Isn't that nice? Someone out there is having the best time of their life wearing your face doing all the things that maybe you wish you could have done. And things you'll probably go to jail for, even though they're the ones doing them. So, let's just keep this in mind, because none of this matters, because we're all doomed! Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in. See you next week. We're all gonna die! die! Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment because it's eh. Unless you're a complete jerk. Yeah. Well, I just watch stuff and I don't like or subscribe. <laughs> I contribute nothing to society. No, neither do you. I absolutely do not. Take a ride to the land inside and you'll see. You won't be 
being able to relax.